everybody, it is Dan the Random here, over here with another video, and this is a little bit of a different style video. I'm going to be doing a redstone tutorial on the cluster bomb, and I'll show you exactly what you need to make it, and like exactly how much damage it does. So without further ado, the first thing you're going to want to grab is a redstone comparator. Um, you can look up a crafting recipe for it, because I honestly have no clue, I've made them before, but... And then you need seven redstone, but yeah, you can just look that up on the wiki or whatever you need to do. And you're going to need one lever, or a redstone torch will work too. Um, if you want to kill yourself, you can use a pressure plate too, but I wouldn't recommend that part. Um, but yeah, and then you need your dispenser, but I'd recommend a lever. It's the easiest way to do it. Or, I mean, because you can use a redstone torch, but a button will not work. Because um, you need a continuous um, time loop, or whatever it's called. I don't really know how to describe it. But then you need 25 TNT. Let's just go 17, 23, 4, 5. Okay, here we go. And hopefully my computer is liking me right now. Okay. So we're going to go over here. Let's see, how's my frame rate? Okay, it likes me right now. Let's go like this. Place that forward so we no longer have our comparator. Now you're going to build out one because you can see the triangle right there. Build out one to the right of that one. So now you're going to go like that and then build back. So you're pretty much building a loop around the right hand corner of it. So then I like to build out two. Place a dispenser in the ground facing up so you can see that looks like that. Put a torch or put a thing behind it a lever turn the comparator on so the way you do that is you right click it again and you should see this thing kind of lights up and pops up a little bit but then you can hear it ticks that incredibly quickly um and you put your 25 tnt in so i'm actually going to do this just all evenly throughout the thing and then we are going to flip it on and you'll see how much just pure devastation this causes here we go. But you can see if like anything that radius is going to get blown up. Now you can definitely ramp it up quite a bit by doing a few simple modifications to it. Um, one of them involves cobwebs which I know you need silk touch to get. But the way that you do that, we're actually going to fly over here and this is going to be the new world for our redstone tutorials. What do you do? You're going to place your comparator and do everything just like you did last time. You're going to branch off, but instead you're going to dig down and you're going to just break however many you feel like you want to. Like that. Alright. So then you want them all facing up. Like that. Alright. So then you need your TNT. Um, and I think you can pick a block. What do I have set to pick block? Okay, I think it's this. No. What is my pick block? Man, I need to change this to my settings. We will be right back after this short break. Just kidding, because I'm not going to edit this because my editing software is stupid. Okay. Um, hot bar slot 1. Let's just set that back to 1 for now. Alright. So the way you do that, you're going to go... I'm just going to put 64 in, or 32 in each one or whatever I feel like doing. Really, it doesn't matter as long as it's more than 25 per one. So... We're just going to load all these up, and like what you really want to do is once you get these all loaded up, you want to put your cobwebs on top of that. Yeah, on, did I get that? On top of them, and what that does is it suspends like a distance of, I guess, a transparent block between it, and it gives it a bigger blast radius um, compared to if you don't do that. But you don't have to do that. This is still going to do like a metric ton of damage um, to the land around it. I've done them bigger than this just to see what could happen. And I guess I'm probably going to show you guys the one with um, like the just giant pretty much obliteration bomb tutorial that's done with minecarts um, in TNT. So you're going to do the same thing as last time with the lever. Flick this on. Oh, I forgot to put the cobwebs there, but that's still going to blow up a ton. But yeah, rip the land around you. <laughs> you can see it's making me lag a little bit. Because um, it is a pretty giant bomb. Now, the next little bomb I'm going to show you is, I guess it's harder to come by as far as resources, but it's easier to make. It's not very technical at all. It's very old-fashioned. Now, the way you're going to do this is with four rails. So you're going to go like that. <clears> hmm. <throat> You're going to put, um, let's just grab a, a random block, put it at each end, 
put our minecart with TNT on there. Now then what you're going to do is go like this. And Okay, that's going to connect. Let me think. A minute. That's going to connect there. That's going to connect there. Oh yeah. All right. So then you're going to break down this. You're going to fly until you get the right angle on that. Yeah. And you're just going to stack them up. I'm going to sit here for probably about 30 seconds just doing this. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed these redstone tutorials. But I'm just going to warn you, this is going to make a massive explosion. And it's going to be like a disgusting amount of damage. And I'm probably going to have to recreate the world again. Because I kind of like the way this world rendered. So, yeah, I think that's going to be more than enough. Um, let's fly up. Alright, we're going to put our rail there. Okay. And you're all you're gonna die if you do this in a normal world. Um, so let's just you can see I just yeah you 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 don't you don't come back from something like that. Where was I? <sighs> okay, I have no clue where I am now. <laughs> that threw me so far. Okay, I'm gonna slash kill. Um, cause I know where I spawned about, um, but holy cow. Okay, that's the devastation from the cluster bomb, and that was further over this way. But you can see, like, it didn't do, like, as, I guess that didn't do as much damage as I thought, but I guess that's more how it'll launch yourself a million times up in the sky, but it still did a metric poop ton of damage in that area, versus one TNT, which just clears out a little area. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little redstone tutorial. I mean, who doesn't enjoy just blowing crap up once in a while? Because that's always the best way to spend your day. But anyway, I will see you guys all in the next video. Hopefully you enjoyed this. And if you want to see more, do hit that like button down below. It is very appreciated. And if you are new, please do subscribe as well. It would mean a lot to have your support and your future views. And you getting to enjoy my content, hopefully, in the future. And I will see you guys all in the next video, everyone. It is Dan the Randoms signing off. Goodbye.